looking to whip up something delicious that the entire family can enjoy, we've got you covered. Keep your diet to yourself, at least for this week. Assistant Managing Chef at Publix, Ansley Dickens, joins us this morning with a salted caramel delicious dish. I'm going to let you go into the details. Yes, so we have a salted chocolate caramel macadamia nut tart. Okay. It's a mouthful. Uh, that's, that's a lot to say it's and, and another mouthful, but... It's a fun tart. We're just <laughs> going to keep it that way. Okay. Um, so we got started earlier with some of our heavy cream in our pan here. We let it get nice and warm. We put some butter in it, let the butter get all melted, and then we put it into our bowl with some chocolate here. So you'll see that it started to melt that chocolate. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to combine them. So it's one nice cohesive chocolate goodness. You see that in there, that nice chocolate. Whip it. Whip, Whip it, it good. real good. <laughs> love saying that. The DJ in me comes out. I love it. Okay. See, it gets nice and smooth there. So once we get it all together, we add in those eggs. So it's real important for the eggs to be put in there for our tart because it's our thickener. Okay. Make sure and that helps nice. it rise. That holds uh -huh. it all together. Yeah. It stays all Gives together. Gives you that protein so that you can say, look, I'm eating healthy. Oh, yeah. I'm eating healthy. <laughs> Got some protein in there. So we'll mix those up together. Doesn't take too long. But you can already see it's starting to get nice and thick. So next to us, I have our tart shell already together. You'll see in the recipe that we do give you a nice recipe for a nice tart crust or pie crust. It's very universal. We love it a lot. So I also, I put some holes in that tart shell as well, because you want to make sure you have that aeration through the pan or not. You're going to get some big bubbles. We don't yeah. want that. We want a nice consistent tart. So we'll put that chocolate filling right in there. There you go. Oh, yeah. Mm, pour it in. All the way to the brim. We want all that in there. Okay. And then that fun part on top are those macadamia nuts. Now, the cool part about this recipe is that you don't have to use macadamia nuts. You sure. can use pecans. Pecans would be really great. What about pretzels? Oh, pretzels would be If your family's not into nuts. Pretzels, I love it. Okay. It's a good suggestion. Graham crackers. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not a chef here. I'm just... No, but, you know, anything you like, anything in your pantry... Nilla wafers? I don't know about Nilla wafers. Okay. Oh, she said no. Maybe not. Jeff shot Maybe that not. one down. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll put this in the oven. We'll bake it off. And when it comes out... Magic of TV. The magic Voila. Of TV. We've got it right over here those nuts on top, they get that nice golden brown. And then on top, put a little slice over here for us. And if we did not have a time machine, how long would we have baked that for? For about 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. And then we'll Set get some of that nice it. salted caramel on top. Oh yeah. A little bit of drizzle. A little bit of drizzle on top, a little bam factor. Okay. Tying it all together, our salted caramel macadamia nut and dark chocolate tart. Oh yeah, get that little. All right, and as I always, you get one bite. You know the rules. It's going to be Chef Freddie Rhodes that's going to have to have to tell us and and report back to me. But it looks darn good from my end, far away here in the studio. Chef, thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank you. And, thank you. of course, we're going to post that recipe on our website, newsforjacks.com. Just look on the morning show section. Hopefully you and your family can give it a try. Whip it up.